Boris Johnson in Poland, just part of a hectic day of diplomacy designed to put pressure on Russia. But at around the same time, our current PM was having pressure put on him by a former one. Sir John Major launched a blistering condemnation of Mr Johnson and his alleged role in the ongoing Partygate police investigation. At number 10, the Prime Minister and officials broke lockdown laws. Brazen excuses were dreamed up. Day after day, the public was asked to believe the unbelievable. Ministers were sent out to defend the indefensible, making themselves look gullible or foolish. Today, Scotland Yard confirmed that it had not yet contacted Mr Johnson as it began the process of reaching out to around 50 people who may have attended gatherings in Downing Street. The Prime Minister says he has more pressing matters to deal with. Russia and its close ally Belarus today started 10 days of joint military drills. Ukraine described what you're seeing here as psychological pressure. Commenting from Brussels, Boris Johnson said such scenes were fueling fears of an invasion. We're seeing the, the massing of, uh, of huge numbers of, uh, of uh, tactical battalion groups, uh, battalion tactical groups on the, on the borders of, of Ukraine, uh, 70 uh, or more. This is probably the most dangerous moment, uh, I would say, in the, in the course of the next few days, in what is the uh, biggest security crisis that uh, Europe has faced for, for decades. There were also tense talks in Moscow. Foreign Secretary Liz Truss met her Russian counterpart, Sergei Lavrov. Their news conference ended with him walking off and her standing alone. We spoke to a journalist in Kiev who said that moment summed up the current situation. The UK foreign secretary today is in Moscow and the talks ended with nothing. Uh, so in Ukraine, everybody's waiting and everybody's tired of waiting right now. These efforts to de-escalate the Ukraine crisis have so far proved unsuccessful as the PM continues to be overshadowed by events at home. Let's pick that up now with Julian, who joins us from Westminster.